Tonight, a landmark ruling protecting LGBTQ people from job discrimination. The Supreme Court finding the Civil Rights Act covers gay and transgender workers. The action expected to have a major impact for an estimated 8.1 million people in the U.S. New at 5, Tim Pulliam getting reaction from a triangle attorney about what that means moving forward. Today's Supreme Court ruling makes it unlawful to discriminate against someone in the workplace based on their gender identity or sexual orientation. Advocates and employment attorneys say that this is a landmark decision for the LGBTQ plus community. When we're talking about people losing their jobs, not, you know, not being able to feed their family, uh, this is a, a very significant um, injury to people when this happens to them in the workplace. And I want North Carolina to be on the books saying we don't tolerate this. Laura Noble with the Noble Law Firm in Chapel Hill says today is definitely a victory for her clients who've had uphill battles fighting discrimination suits based on their gender identity and sexual orientation. North Carolina is not one of the 22 states across the country with state laws specifying protections for the LGBTQ plus community. Tonight, Equality North Carolina releasing a statement that reads in part, LGBTQ people People face harassment and mistreatment in their daily lives, and black and brown LGBTQ trans people face even higher rates of discrimination and oftentimes violence. House Bill 142 still prohibits trans people from using public restrooms in state government buildings and facilities, except for those controlled by Governor Cooper. The state's Republican-led legislature has also banned local municipalities from drafting their own employment protections, but this ruling gives the LGBT community those protections under federal law. Tim Pulliam, ABC 11 Eyewitness